do it. All Where's right, everybody guys. coming from? Because, like, I got this view right here, San Diego. I know it's cold up north. I'm, I'm from Cleveland, and it's freezing. But Yeah, Jason, let us know in the chat, and anyone else who's hopping on here, let us know in the chat where you're dialing in from so that we can give you a big hello. I'm here in Dallas, and it is in the 30s. So I oh, am are we not on Facebook Live? We're not on Facebook Live. It's Zoom. Oh, so they can't comment down below, but in the messages. No, they can the chat though, right? Yeah. I know. Sorry, guys. I kind of want, I wanted to do like something inside of Facebook, but I was scrambling last minute with the tech stuff. So we're going with Zoom and I'll post the replay up for you guys who can't make it. There's a couple people who are like, oh, it's in the middle of the night for me. So cool. So this is, live, this is a little bit more intimate, which I like. So that's perfect. So Jason, if you have any questions for me, just pop them in the chat and I'll get them answered. Yeah, so Jason, be sure to let us know um, kind of where you're dialing in from. Make sure that you can, let us know that you can hear us both too. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna make sure that people are seeing in the group. We are live, I'm just gonna comment one more time. Should I send out a bot broadcast and just get a bunch of people on here? If you want. That would, cool. yeah. Okay. You have the link? Yeah, I'm grabbing it now. Okay. And then for all your people. Okay, let's see. So hopefully we'll get a couple more people on here. Cool. Jason's from San Francisco. That's awesome. I used to live in Belmont, Jason. Um, that was right after college. So. I assume you know where that is, just a little bit down the peninsula. So I'm gonna comment for all of Andrews. So this is for all of Andrews people who join later. All <laughs> of Andrews people who join later. Replay will be in be in the group. Hey, we got Anthony here. All right. Yay, what's up, Anthony? Thanks for coming on. Let us know where you're, where you're dialing in from, Anthony. We would love to know down there. Yeah, I know, sorry, I was, I'm sorry about the Zoom link, tech issues, but we're making it work. So by the way, so for those of you who are not familiar with Andrew Cruzy, he is a very long time friend of mine, a really good friend, and I'm now in one of his coaching programs, which is really, really great. I'm absolutely loving it. And so I wanted to bring him on here to share a little bit about, well actually share a lot about his successes over the past year and a little bit more. Hey, we got James, we got Anthony, we got a bunch of people on here, awesome you guys. Let us know where you're dialing in from in the chat below and we'll be able to see that there. All right? Dude, this might get weird. I have like, I have like 2,500 people on my messenger bot and <laughs> sending them straight to a Zoom room. <laughs> I've never done this before, that's so that could get really. It could get exciting. We're going to have a lot of random people, a lot of cool people on here too. Last yeah. Month, Can we, we see their show? What's going on, Michelle? We've got Jason, James, Anthony, everybody. I'm so glad to have you here tonight. Uh, we're going to make this really, really value packed. So I'm super stoked. I've got a couple questions lined up for Andrew and he's going to give us the scoop on how he was able to make over $500,000 in sales without any ad spend. Now yes. I know a lot of you guys are, you're kind of like, just in the beginning stages or maybe like intermediate. And there's a few out there who are more advanced marketers and entrepreneurs, but either way, making $500,000 without any ads is pretty remarkable feat. And I know a lot of people struggle with ads like right at the beginning. So yeah. it's going to be really exciting to hear Andrew's story of how he was able to have this incredible success without like avoiding all the struggle and all the pain and all the stress of running ads. Yeah. Sound good? Amazing. I'm, uh, I'm just getting a few people in here. So let's, this might get weird. Awesome. This is amazing. Wait, can we see other people's faces or are they, yay. We can see, oh. we can see other people's faces. Yeah. Amazing. It's hey just guys. everyone, people like everyone's muted except for Andrew and I, um, just cause it's going to, it would make it a lot, uh, kind of stressful with yeah. having all the, a bunch of random people talking at the same time. But if you do have a question, please go ahead and drop it down in the chat and we'll do our best to answer it for you, okay? Yeah. I love questions. Yeah, 
Andrew is here to help and he's here to tell us about his incredible wins. So before we get into that, um, Andrew, why don't we just have you, I've, you've shared, you shared a little bit about kind of your successes specifically with entrepreneurship and marketing. Can you tell us a little bit about your kind of like how you got started and you know, how you found this online entrepreneurship journey? Yeah. Uh, so I got started not too long ago. It was about two years ago. I was living out in Chicago. Uh, I was doing IT sales, making 50 cold calls a day, trying to sell CRM systems to fortune 500 com or fortune 1000 companies that like did not want our services and like just hung up on day after day after day. Uh, I drank way too much coffee. I drank way too much, uh, alcohol, and uh, I was just super duper depressed. Um, definitely not living my best life as the kids say nowadays. And uh, so I decided after I read the four hour work week by Tim Ferriss, um, I made the decision to uh, work remote and try to quit my job. Um, so I went that route and Tim Ferriss laid, that, laid out the playbook like, yo, just tell your boss, to uh, let you work remote, list off all uh, the reasons like why uh, you're doing great in, in the company and try to work remote um, and then try to transition out. So I did that. My boss was like, okay, you can move back to Cleveland. That's fine. Um, I lived in my parents' basement for a while while I was trying to start up my advertising agency. And uh, I came across Dan Henry's webinar for Facebook ads for entrepreneurs um, and I, uh, I was able to execute on that and get to 10 K per month in the first three months after joining the program. Um, I grew that super quick. And the reason for that growth was kind of because of the course, but mainly because of the network that I built up. So I got into that Facebook group and I just started asking so many questions. I started sharing my wins in their private Facebook group. Um, I started uh, uh, just posting screenshots of like campaigns that like I was running and was just like killing it with. And I was also sharing my losses. I was just sharing my journey of my Facebook or my uh, advertising agency growing. And then I decided to start my own Facebook group, uh, Digital Marketing for Entrepreneurs, where I just shared my journey again. I just showed people how to set up ads, set up funnels, um, how to close deals, all that good stuff. And we went from um, uh, zero people just starting in November of 2017 to a thousand people by the end of December. Um, so in, in six weeks, we got to a thousand people. Nobody fucking knew me um, before <laughs> that. And uh, then like I started growing this audience, not spending a dollar on ads. Everybody was finding my Facebook group from the suggested group sidebar. It started growing, growing and growing and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm just a normal dude. This does not make sense. And people thinking like, like posts were blowing up, getting over a hundred reactions. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing right now, but this is working. This is fantastic. Um, so I kept growing it. People, um, start reaching out to me and saying, Hey, do you have a course? Like, can I learn from you? Um, I'm like, I don't, but I can create one. My first course was shit. I launched a course. Um, we did uh, $4,800 on my first launch. I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, we got six people into the program and the course was a Trello board and weekly group coaching calls. It looked terrible. Um, but I kept like taking massive action and just failing forward. And uh, actually one of my students, because I actually knew what I was doing, one of my students made um, $18,000 in six weeks. I'm like, shit, I can actually teach this stuff. This is incredible. Um, so yeah, and then my Facebook group continued to grow. Uh, I That course turned into Stupid Simple Client Acquisition that some of you guys might be in um, that uh, did well over six figures. Um, then I created messenger bots for agencies and entrepreneurs that did over six figures. Um, and then, uh, now I'm teaching people how to grow their Facebook group organically, um, how, and how to create courses and coaching programs and sell that to your audience. Um, and now, uh, we did, uh, like you said, we did uh, 500 or five, a little over $500,000 last year. Um, all organic, just using, uh, Facebook, my Facebook group. Um, messenger bots and just a little bit of sales funnels. Um, I don't, I have a team now, but I didn't have a team 
for 10 months of last year. Um, so the first hire I did was a personal assistant. Um, and that's why I suggest everybody does. Your first hire should be a personal assistant. Um, but uh, now I have personal assistant. I have a, a person who makes sales funnels, um, Facebook ads, um, and, uh, and a copywriter um, as well on my team. Um, but it's been a crazy fucking journey and just blew up last year and it has all to do with Facebook groups. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you and I connected probably through Dan Henry's program, maybe. Cause I feel like I, was, I knew yeah. you before you started your Facebook group. That was probably the, yeah, the first time we connected and then we joined Johnny West's program. Yeah. Um, and like, <laughs> that, that was, yeah. That was I remember that. that was but yeah, yeah. Awesome. It. So you've really like taken this whole, I mean, you've used kind of like your Facebook group, not really even necessarily having an, a goal or objective with it at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, and you've totally taken that to a whole new level and created, you know, $500,000, even more than $500,000 in sales with completely organically, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's crazy how much um, you can do organically. Um, you don't need to create, I didn't create a webinar, I didn't create a VSL. Um, I'm terrible on video, uh, but I can write decent terrible, copy, <laughs> so that's good. Um, so you really just like find your strength, find how you connect with people. If you're not good on video, you don't really have to do too much video. Um, I know this one really good copywriter who created a course that's making I think seven figures with his course. Um, and he does it all through copy. He doesn't have a single video in his course. It's just all written out. Um, so you find your strength and uh, you just amplify it. Yeah, absolutely. That's, I mean, that's incredible. Um, I think one question, by the way, you guys, I want to reiterate a lot of you guys are just joining. Please, if you have any questions, drop them in the chat in Zoom so that we can try and answer them for you, okay? Yeah, um, thanks for all the questions too. Jason, yeah, a lot Kevin, of Alex, Michelle, we'll get to them. Yeah, we'll save those for a little bit towards the end. I've just got a couple of questions that I want to make sure we actually get covered. Cool. So, yeah, so as far as I think what a lot of people want to kind of know, at least from my group, um, for those of you who are on the call who came from my group, a lot of people kind of want to know like how to actually get started like monetizing things, right? Like, of course, it's important to start you know, building that community early on and not necessarily start pushing, you know, any products or services like right away. But yeah. I think a lot of people are kind of at that critical point where they're like, okay, like I've been doing this for long enough. Like I built up a little bit of an email list. Like I'm ready to start seeing some wins now. Like what are the first steps that they can take to, you know, get those first couple sales? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So the first step that you want to take is outlining your program. Um, a lot of people come to me and ask like, yo, I have this wealth of knowledge, but I don't know what to teach. And it's because you have it all in your head and you don't have it written out. You need to tell your brain to shut the fuck up, open up a word document and just start writing just every single thing that, you know, just put it down on a piece of paper. Um, from there, you want to organize it into steps. So you want to organize it into three to seven steps um, that takes the person from their problem that they're experiencing to the end result. And you want to give it uh, an amount of time that it will take for them to get from their problem to what I call the promise. Um, so step number two is just like organizing it basically into modules, but more so a step-by-step -step process that gives people like milestones to hit. Uh, to hit. So, um, so in addition to that, there are three elements that you need to know of before you launch a new offer. And that's the problem, um, the promise and the process. So the problem is identifying your ideal client's problem and be crystal clear on things that they're experiencing in their life and just how it's manifesting on the inside and manifesting on the outside as well. Um, and you can be as simple as like, they just don't have enough leads for their business to not having enough leads is not leading to enough sales, which is leading to them staying up at night and not having a good relationship with their wife, 
blah, 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 blah. You can go deeper down the rabbit's hole. So be very, very clear on their problem. And you can start identifying your ideal client's problem by either uh, asking your current clients, hey, what's your number one problem right now? What's the number one thing you're struggling with? Or your audience, just ask them, hey, what's your number one issue when it comes to messenger bots? Something like that if you're selling a messenger bots course um, or going to. Um, so that's the problem. Then you have the promise. You want to be very specific on where you are taking your clients. So for my, for, uh, my program, Group Growth and Monetization Blueprint, we take you from having zero audience to uh, uh, getting a thousand people in your Facebook group and launching your first uh, digital product in six weeks. So that's the promise of my program. So you will have an audience now and you will have a digital product, a course that you can sell over and over and over again. Um, and that's an asset to your business. So that's the promise of my program in six weeks, thousand people in your group. If you implement everything, thousand people in your group and you'll be able to sell a course and have a course at the end of the program. Awesome. And then the last part is the, uh, the process, which is how do you take somebody from the problem to the promise? So my process is called the salvation method. So we systematize your whole business. We uh, attract your audience. Um, we, uh, we launch your first product. We validate your product. Um, and then we automate the whole process. So Salva salvation method. We take you from burnout to just like hating your life by doing the wrong things in your business that don't move the needle forward to working less and actually getting more benefit out of it. Um, less stress in your life. That's salvation. Um, so you need those three elements, the problem, uh, the promise and the process. Awesome. That's incredible. And I like how you make it so simple because a lot of times and myself included, like, I just feel like there's always so many things to do and so many different directions that you could go. And mm -hmm. especially with offer creation, right? Mm -hmm. Like, so I think just having those three simple things like really breaks it down and it gives you something like you can actually feel like you're making progress every single day. Yeah. Or, hundred, even, like, or even knock it all out in a day. Yeah. That's a dude. That's a huge problem for people. Like they don't know what they should create and it's everything in life can be broken down into a system. If you just have that system, you have that process, you will have the roadmap to actually produce the result that you want to produce. I am like, it's taken me a good year and a half, two years to really figure that out. But things have come to fruition over the past three months realizing, holy shit, I just need to document all my processes. I need to hire the right people to learn their processes so I can get the result that I want to get. And that shit is finally coming together and it feels fucking amazing. Um, so yeah, it just comes down to like uh, learning a system that somebody else has. Um, and for creating a new product, there's a system for that. Um, from getting shit out of your head that you're good at and teaching other people, there's a system to do that. Um, so yeah, I kind of went on a rant, but I hope awesome. that's good. Cool. No, that's good. And I think one question that I recently, like you and I just recently chatted about that. Yeah. I think is going to be relevant for a lot of people who are about to create a new program or thinking of it. How would you say to kind of like be careful, I guess like what's the right way to go about making that promise to someone specifically mm -hmm. like, you know, with, when you and I were chatting about it, like in my case, being in the online business space or make money online space, you can't necessarily promise a certain like number that they're going to make, yeah. even though you yeah. can kind of, no. Give them that number to shoot for. If that makes sense. Yeah. How would you how would you guide people to making the right type of promise for their program? Yeah. So it has to be something that you have done already. That's the main thing. Um, if you've done it already, you can probably teach it to somebody. You should not start with building out a course without you working with people either one on one or in a group setting. So you want to be really, really intimate with the people that you're selling into your programs before you just sell a hands-off course, right? Um, so when you're hands-on, when you're teaching them from week to week to week, then you can collect feedback from them and refine your program. I see so many people like building out a course and then trying, then selling it. And it's like, you will, number one, um, it might not sell. Number two, if you sell people into that program, it's not going to be the best program that you can create um, and it won't get the results that you want your students to get. 
Um, so you want to be very intimate with your, um, uh, with your clients first and you want to tell them, Hey, this is a minimal viable course, or this is a beta program, but I'm going to help you. I'm going to walk you through the process week to week to week. Um, and then uh, that will help with your promise too. just letting them know it's a minimal viable course. Um, and you're going to be handholding them to results. Um, so that kind of helps you. The, the promise kind of comes when um, you start working with people more intimately, whether it's that that's like initially it's just jumping on free strategy calls mm-hmm. and asking, hey, what's your number one goal of this call? What's the number one issue that you're experiencing right now? And overcoming that one issue in the strategy call. And then after you do more of the strategy calls, you're, picking, you're pulling out your ideal client's issues. So you can use that in your marketing material and your messaging moving forward. And then you have somebody that's going to buy from you down the line. Yeah. Love it. Love it. That's, I mean, that's just, I think really doing the, the beta program approach is in like getting those first few people um, kind of like into your program with the understanding that you're going to be, you know, available more on a one-on-one or, mm-hmm. you know, group coaching setting is such a great way to go just because mm-hmm. it gives you like that extra leeway and it gives them a better experience and it gives all the future people who join your new updated program a better experience as well. Absolutely. So I think that's a great tip. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So we've got a bunch of questions in here. I'm going to, can we start going through a couple of them? I don't know if we'll, yeah, let's do it. For everyone, but let's see. Okay. So first question way back at the beginning, we've got Kevin says, is there a max amount of students you should get into your beta program? So the first um, thing launching your uh, I, I suggest 10 to 20 people, um, make it six to eight weeks. Um, and yeah, uh, anything more than 20, um, you're not going to be able to give those people enough attention that they deserve um, when they're entering a minimal viable course. Um, so they deserve more accountability, more uh, one-on-one touch points, those sorts of things. Um, so over 20 is too much. Under 10, you aren't going to get enough people into the program that will actually take action. So you get enough testimonials at the end of the program. So 10 to 20 is typically a sweet spot. Awesome. Love it. Uh, perfect. Then we've got Michelle who says, with new Facebook groups, do you have any tips to ensure that new people are seeing posts? I had a three-day challenge group and it seemed like no one saw the posts uh so number one how many people were in there that's really important um number two uh you should be uh, so two things that you need to do before you open up a facebook group um number one be super active in other facebook groups there are four different types of content that you need to post in other facebook groups so people add you as a friend um and i can actually let me get those for you it's going to take a second for me to pull that up um but uh you want to be super active in other facebook groups um, you also want to post on your personal profile every single day and there are 10 different types of content that you need to post on your personal profile and I'll bring those up right now um, and when you do that people will engage in your Facebook group more it, it's what I call a pre-group um, so you need to pre-group before you open up your group so it's just super active and engaged when you first open it up so my uh, and you'll actually some people reach out and say hey how can I buy from you before you even open up a Facebook group um, so, uh, do that. My, uh, one of my first clients, Jeff Miller, who runs a 30,000 person Facebook group. Now we started working together in March. He went from zero to 30,000 people now. Um, but he, uh, he started on his personal profile. He went live every morning, every Monday morning on his personal profile and taught something, the three step process to blank to getting X result. Um, and he did that, build it up, build it up. When he opened up his Facebook group, he got 500 people into his Facebook group in one day. And he, uh, he, uh, the engagement was just out of this fucking world in a brand new Facebook group. Um, so it all starts with how you open up your Facebook group in terms of like getting engagement in your Facebook group right away. Uh, awesome. But the different types of content for, to post in other Facebook groups, are there people behind me? 
Um, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Posting in other Facebook groups, they're providing value posts, they're reporting win posts, they're telling your story posts, and they're asking question posts. Um, and then on your personal profile, there are story posts, results posts, video testimonials, written testimonials, uh, something I made up called uh, influencer attraction, look at me posts, um, story, uh, uh, or no, short influencer posts, or <laughs> short inspirational posts, um, engagement questions, Facebook lives, paid program posts, personal life posts, um, and recap posts. And I can't go through like all of those right now, but I wanted to give you guys like a high level, like there are certain types of content that will get engagement and turn your friends into actual customers. Um, so that's kind of high level, uh, what you need to do. Yeah. Thank you. Gosh, that's like so much value. And, um, like, it's just like <laughs> you're literally like spilling all the secrets, which I absolutely love. <laughs> sorry. Uh, no, no, no. It's a good thing, right? <clears throat> yeah. um, okay. Sorry. So we've got a bunch more questions pouring through. I also want to make sure Andrew's got something like a really cool freebie that I want to make sure that he has uh, a couple of minutes to tell us about. So how about we go through maybe like two or three more questions and then Andrew will have you share a little bit more about that. Does that sound good? Yeah. I mean, I got all the time in the world, but yeah. Cool. Okay. So we've got, let's see, Nick's iPhone or Nick <laughs> says, um, I missed the first part. Is there a certain strategy to grow a group and you need a page for a group first, right? Um, you don't need a page for a group. And actually the, this transitions perfectly into the freebie I'm giving away. It's my five day group growth and engagement uh, uh, challenge. Um, five days of videos and documents of exactly how you need to set up your Facebook group and your personal profile. Um, so everything that you need to get started. Awesome. And I've personally been through it and I can say it's absolutely awesome. Like it's incredible. Andrew, if you have the link right now, go ahead, drop it. Otherwise um, for anyone who's watching the replay, it'll be somewhere above or below if you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube or whatever. Um, I'll make sure and get you the link to get Andrew's free five day training. Mm -hmm. Cool. So stick around for that. And yeah, it's absolutely incredible. Like I'm in Andrew, I'm actually in, I guess all of Andrew's programs <laughs> right now. Is that right? <laughs> all of the uh, available ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pretty yeah, pretty much. Yep. Yeah. All right. And they're super good. They're gold. So make sure and check out his freebie. Um, he's going to link that either above or down below. And yeah, awesome. So let's see, we've still got a couple more questions. Sumit says, wanted to just know how to create a steady stream of leads to your group without ads. Uh, yes, so yep, set up your profile funnel, which I go over in the five day uh, group challenge. Um, and um, being super active in other Facebook groups. So we just went over the four different types of content to post in other Facebook groups. Um, it's being consistent. It's about doing those little things every single day that add up. Um, so there's seven things, fuck it. I'll give it all away. Uh, <laughs> there's seven things that you need to do every single day. Um, and that's conducting a strategy call or a sales call, um, making an offer every single day. And this goes for everybody here. If you run a business and you don't make an offer every single day to somebody, then you are leaving so much fucking money on the table. It's ridiculous. No matter what, ask for a deal every single day. Ask, 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 ask for the sale every single day to somebody. Um, then you want to add 50 friends on Facebook as regular friends to your personal profile. You need to post on your personal profile every day. You need to um, teach something in your Facebook group every single day once you have that up and running. Um, you need to post... Uh, in other Facebook groups every single day and connect with at least 10 people in Messenger every single day. If you do that every single day, there is no way that you can fail. Um, and I wanna show you guys one more thing, but I need to black some stuff out real quick. Um, boo, 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 boo. Boo, doo. Awesome, so while he's doing that, everyone, make sure you click the link down below. Um, Andrew posted the bit.ly link to his free Facebook group growth challenge. So make sure that you, um, make sure you grab that. Yeah. I don't think I can 
yeah, I can't share this. There are too many links on here. Um, but I have a, a document that I give away uh, in the group growth and in, uh, group growth and monetization blueprint um, that shows you all the types of posts, um, all the videos on the type, how to make those types of posts. And then I give you a step-by-step -step document on um, how you can create uh, your weekly group calendar. So it only takes you 30 to 45 minutes each week to create your whole entire content for the week. Um, and then what I do is I have my personal assistant um, post uh, the uh, uh, post my content. Um, so I'm just in there a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, I highly, highly recommend batch creating your content for Facebook, for YouTube, for Instagram all at once. Um, and then just having a plan to post it for the week and it will save you so much time. That's such a good idea. Like that's next on my plate to just have the content <laughs> calendar. It's gonna help me so much, so. It's super powerful, yeah. Yeah, great idea. Uh, let's see, we've got a, still we've got some questions flowing in. Again, everyone make sure to grab Andrew's free, um, free five day challenge. He linked that Bitly link there. And we've got Craig who says, when your group grew or organically, did you have something created already? Not sure if uh, was, like, no. I didn't have a single thing for my group. Nobody knew me. Nobody knew who the fuck I was. Um, but what happens is when you start growing an audience, you start getting feedback from them and you start learning how to teach better, to become a better teacher. Um, so ideas start coming to you and you ha it, growing an audience helps you elevate yourself helps you take yourself to the next level because you're responsible for other people now. Um, so it's really the best way to take yourself to the next level. You're going to have imposter syndrome. You're not going to think that you're ready. I felt like that, like no other for at least the first six months of growing my Facebook group. And then you realize, holy shit, I'm coming into myself. Like I'm starting to know like who I am in this space and this feels real, this feels natural. And um, nothing gives you more momentum than growing an audience. It just makes, it gives you more clarity on what you're doing. Um, and you wake up every day like, like thinking, how can I support my audience? How can I uh, provide value to them? Um, and uh, it's super fucking cool. So I just start growing an audience um, and document your journey. journey. Don't fucking lie. Don't like stand in front of a, a, a Airbnb that's not yours or like, uh, a Lambo that you just rented from enterprise, like fuck that, like be real, document your journey. That's where the internet and marketing is moving towards being real and vulnerable. So if you can do that, that is when you will gain a real following, a real tribe that people want to love and uh, love to consume your content. Um, some of my best posts have just been story posts of me just like saying, fuck, I was depressed for like half a decade. Um, and I got through that by just taking the right steps, cutting alcohol out of my life by um, lifting weights, by eating the right foods. And then people are like, fuck, he's talking about his depression. That's really fucking vulnerable. And that's really like where things start when you can dig deep, get super vulnerable and relate to your audience. Yep, absolutely. And Harmony says, so listen to your followers. This is so real, LOL. And then she says, be real. I'm glad you're on here, Harmony. Um, thanks for that. And let's see, we've got a couple more. Everyone's saying like, everyone's laughing at that. I thought that was pretty funny too about the Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think you can actually rent Lambos for like a hundred dollars a day or something. So like, yeah, I think you can. Yeah. Um, and why I said Airbnb is like renting a million dollar Airbnb. I went to a branding boot camp in Florida. Uh, it cost like it was like five hundred dollar branding boot camp for a week you went to this million dollar mansion that was rented out um, and they rented a bunch of cars. So you could stand in front of these cars and stand in front of the mansion and get pictures and post it to Instagram. And like, I didn't know that was what I was going into when I bought into this branding boot camp. but oh my God, it pissed me the fuck off. And like, what was kind of good is I've realized like what motivates me is like, my anti-Andrews, like the people that I just fucking hate that are doing thing, things wrong in life, and then things that like I love and things that I attain or, or strive to be. So like people I'm inspired by. But having those two polar opposites that push you forward um, is so crucial. So going to that brand boot camp 
terrible fucking investment. I've never posted any of those pictures, but at the same time, it gave me the anti Andrew to be like, wow, fuck those guys. They need to stay at the bottom. That's going to motivate me to wake up every day and produce the best content I can and provide as much value as I can. So those people get buried and they don't, they don't survive. <laughs> like, they Dude, was that the 3% one? I don't, I don't think 3%. So. Okay. I Cause I saw I some event, up, but <laughs> and there was some event where like a bunch of people that I knew were going to this. It sounds exactly like that. And they were all wearing this shirt that said 3% and they were all at this really nice mansion for like a weekend. And they were all like, in, like taking pictures in front of like Lambos and like, I don't know, other really nice cars and like posting on an Instagram. And I was like, it sounds exactly like that. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah. That is not marketing. Those are my anti Andrews. Yeah. It's like kind of awkward for them. <laughs> but anyways. Um, all right. We've got, thank you. Thank you so much. You guys, by the way, for all being on here. We really appreciate it. All those people are saying, yeah, I guess they fake it till they make it loving how real this is. Pretty sure they didn't achieve anything. <laughs> um, let's see. We've got a couple more questions. Um, Alex says, I'm building mine right now. I assume he means Facebook group. I have 10 people in it, but nobody really reacts to my posts and they don't see the posts. Should I close it up and reopen when more people send me a request? No. Uh, you have 10 people in it what you need to do is readjust your focus. Um, so like for the next week, post a couple times, but you need to readjust your focus to what I call hunting. So what you need to do is really focus on setting up your personal profile funnel um, and then going into other Facebook groups and providing value, putting your wins in there, um, uh, just reporting in Facebook groups saying like a produced X result or just answering questions and asking questions in other Facebook groups. Um, and reaching out to people in messenger, this is gold right here. So when, as soon as somebody adds you as a friend, um, on Facebook, you, I have this, uh, outline of exactly what you need to say to take that person from messenger into your Facebook group. But the basic gist of it is, um, uh, is, Hey, thanks for connecting. This is super random. Um, but I have this Facebook group that goes over X, Y, and Z. So like make sure it's three things that are really, really good that you're helping people with in your Facebook group for free. Um, and then say, I think you'd love the family that we're creating here. It's super engaged. It's super awesome. It's going to be super fun. Um, just, uh, hit the link down below if you want to be a part of the Facebook group, just fucking works. Um, so if you add 50 people per day, 25 people are probably going to accept your friend request. And then about half of those, so 12 to 13 people are actually going to go into your Facebook group by sending that message. So it's all broken down into numbers. So if you have 50 people per day, send out 50 messages, then you get, uh, uh, or send out, uh, 25 messages. You're going to get about 12 to 13 people in your group per day, at least. So. Awesome. So I just got a notification from Zoom that the meeting's about to end because I didn't like upgrade or whatever. So thank you guys so much for being here. Um, really, really appreciate everyone who showed up. Again, go ahead and grab Andrew's freebie. He linked it in the comments. And thank you, Andrew, for being here and for sharing all this incredible, insane value with us. Like, I already yeah. have a ton of ideas of new stuff that I need to go do. And I'm sure Love everyone it. else does too. Cool. Guys, if you want to talk to me, hit me up in Messenger. Uh, I have the group growth and monetization blueprint is the best program out there uh, in terms of growing your audience and creating digital products that you can sell over and over and over. I'd love to talk to you guys about that. It's fucking mind blowing. Um, so yeah, hit me up. And uh, Nico, it was a pleasure. And uh, guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope you got value out of it. Awesome. Thanks so much, everyone. And thanks, Andrew. I will see you guys in a bit.